Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Jazz Standard here in New York City. Saxophonist Myron Walden tonight is playing selections off his critically acclaimed countrified CD. And what Myron has done and what makes this this so unique and authentic is one, he's really going back to the roots of roots music here in the United States, whether it's blues or soul. <laughs> Tonight, it seems like you went home. Well, we try to. I mean, that's that's the whole uh, notion behind a concept behind the band is that we we we're, we're trying to reconnect to the roots of the music. You know, uh, I guess we're in 2011 now, but there's something that still speaks in the, in this very day that was present then and I think trying to connect to that would only enhance you know what's happening tell me about how you decided to do this project because this was a series of three projects that you put together over the last two years well the the other two projects just to bring it all full circle as momentum which is uh, a, a, a kind of a jazz uh, I don't know what one would call mainstream or, or historically referenced jazz and coming from like a Miles Davis or Quintet or uh, Cannibal Adderley Quintet. Uh, and it deals with the, the history of, the, of jazz and the legacy of the music. And the other band that I recorded was called In This World. And that was a gift to my wife and it kind of was more focused on melodies and calming and mood kind of music that kind of set the the space the aural space to relax and to to share oneself and thoughts and and then I wanted to uh, come from another perspective of my upbringing in particular you know being from the south so you know, I thought about music that I heard coming up, and I remember at the time it wasn't something that I was compelled to do or to listen to even, because I was very young. But as I was explaining during the set to the audience, as one matures, you begin to feel life in a different way. Uh, you're touched by things on a deeper level and I went back and revisited some of those songs that I remember hear, hear, hearing when I was coming up uh, as I pointed out when a man loves a woman uh, 
in particular was a song that my aunt Othell would play on the weekends while she was cleaning up or cooking. And I was like, oh man, what's she's playing this song over and over. She would have it on repeat. Why's she playing this song over and over? This foggy sound and, you know, sad, mopey kind of, you know, I was of an age where a nice beat sent me. And I didn't get the lyrics, you know, when a man loves a woman, she could do no wrong. He'll turn his back on his best friend if he treats her bad, you know. So those lyrics didn't resonate with me. But as I got older and I experienced love and experienced heartache and experienced all the trials and tribulations of life and growing up, they took on a different meaning. They resonated with deeper sentiment. to Countrified, you have to go back to some of the earlier, earlier beginnings of rhythm and blues. Guys like Louis Jordan in the Timpany Five, and even in the 50s and 60s, uh, St. Clair Pickney, mm -hmm. James Brown, Maceo Parker, um, Sam the Man Taylor, <laughs> King Curtis. This was a whole element in the connection to roots music, mm -hmm. soul music and jazz, jazz and soul, and even blues. Right. Well, I have to say that much of that music is still unknown to me. Uh, I'm familiar with quite a few of the artists, but what, like you mentioned uh, before when we were talking about, you know, some saxophonist, you know, whom kind of captured that sound that uh, soul jazz or you know that rock and roll kind of instrumental rock and roll those weren't necessarily the people that were driving my inspiration uh, because it's the words it's the lyrics it's the the inflection that the voice brought that I was compelled by that that moved me a lot so when I go back and I hear you know, Etta James or, you know, uh, Otis Redding, there's something in their voice that they're able to convey that horn players can try really hard to get to, but it's the first voice, the first instrument is the voice. So it's not as rudimentary it's not it doesn't come first nature uh, and so just some of the nuances of the voice kind of touched me in a way that I was drawn in and those were the people 
and uh, that I would listen to to get inspiration. Uh, so when you may hear me play, you may hear me, ah, you know, I'm actually trying to emulate and, and kind of get that emotion and that emotive way of playing to come through. decided to do something very bold. You put these three recordings out on your new record label. Why did you decide to do something like that now at a time when the record industry is changing? Well, the record industry is definitely changing. And I think one of the reasons that I decided to, to put them out is one, the that was my uh, that was where I had grown and I needed to put those out to kind of have benchmarks and testimonials to where I am now. You know, all these years I've been playing and this is where I am now. And another reason why I decided to put it out in spite of the record company and industry being in flux uh, is to say that I don't, I'm not trying to follow those rules, those prescribed rules that had been in play for years, you know, how, you know, a guy would put out a record and, you know, before he put it, they put it out, they would obviously publicize it and there'll be a track on it that's radio friendly and, you know, they'll tour on it for a year. You know, my impetus was, was internal, like, I have to get this out because this is what's that's inside of me and if I don't get it out I'll die you know I'll be so affected you know uh, that I won't be able to continue to grow because I won't see the seeds of my efforts blossom you know because I've been playing for 20 over 25 years uh, many people know me as being an alto saxophonist but as in the last seven years, I picked up tenor and soprano, uh, and I think that it was important for me to kind of say I'm more than just this. I'm more than just a jazz musician, or I'm more than just a saxophonist, I'm an artist. And with the tools that I, I have at my disposal, I'm able to express what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what, I'm, what I've lived, what I'm seeing, you know. Uh, and a lot of the, the, the CDs are specific in that, like I said, in this world, that music was a gift to my wife, a dedication 
and a representation of the love that I have for her. And it made me kind of reflect on the love that people have near to people that are near to them and dear to them. And then also just the humankind, you know, love that we have for people that we don't know. We should have that kind, we should share a love for, you know, people in far and distant places, you know. Uh, and momentum, you know, it's all these years, you know, I've been studying and I could have done that record on alto, but the sound that resonates through the tenor is but more befitting for that music. So I had already written a lot of it, but it wasn't until I picked up the tenor that I began to realize the potential because the sound that the, emanates from the tenor opened up a window of possibilities. The way that it blends with the trumpet, the way that it sits and the trumpet kind of rides on it. So it's been a trip, a, a wonderful trip. And I, I'm really excited and ecstatic to, to have shared uh, experiences with other artists and they've helped me realize my artistic vision. Uh, I mean, it must have been like 15, maybe 10 to 15 guys that, musicians, that either played on the record or helped me bring it to fruition. That'll do it again for another edition of The Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Jazz Standard. I'd like to personally thank Myron Walden for his time, as well as the staff and management here at the Jazz Standard. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Until next time, peace.